Hey, it's Roger. I wanted to talk to you about what happens when you reduce your medication. When you a person is on depression or anxiety medication, what happens? Well, I want to talk to you about today about this this triangle called the the body V A K A D and and focus triangle. And I'm going to explain to you what happens when you begin to r ratchet down or reduce your medication for depression or anxiety for whatever it is. There's different kinds of psychotropic medication. When you reduce this medication, this is this is this is what's going to happen to you. And I'm going to explain to you how that works in the, the frame of obviously this, this triad. So in this triad, we have the body, our physiology. We have VAKAD, which is visual, auditory, kinesthetic, auditory, digital, which in other words is what you see, hear, feel, and what you tell yourself, self-talk. I'm, I'm going pretty fast, but you can watch this video on over and over again, you'll get it. And on the other side, we have focus and beliefs, so focus. So what happens is, is if one of these aspects changes, you change, yeah? So if you're feeling really sick one day, so if you've got the flu, you might notice that that is not a good day for you to make an important decision because you will be seeing, you won't be feeling good, your, your self-talk will be like, life is bad, life is suck, I feel so sick, and... And what will happen is your focus will immediately move to the negative in your life. Oh, you know, my life's not working out. I wish it could be better. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's what happens when you phys physiologically have a shift. When you're better again, once you've recovered from the flu and your body is, you know, operating as it normally does, then you begin to see here and feel, you know, better pictures. Um, you feel better. Um, you tell yourself, oh, life's good, I'm back, I'm well again, yeah, great, I'm back into life. And your focus on, is on more positive things. It's like, oh, yeah, what am I going to do today? Oh, great, I'm going to save for that holiday. Oh, great, I'm going to achieve this, I'm going to do this, have this goal, whatever it is. Yeah? So our physiology determines a lot about how we do things. Now, say, for example, you may remember on 9-11. 9-11 was um, a pretty tr tragic, horrific day. On that day, you would have seen the, the news, the news report of the planes crashing into the building. Okay. And what happened is, is that controlled your focus. Immediately, you begin to feel, feel down. Yeah. Immediately, you created self-talk like, oh no, the world is going bad or whatever it is. You felt bad. You saw horrific images. And as a result, there were people that day who were really down and depressed. I remember a girl at the gym. She was Canadian, but she felt she was so down that day and because of what had happened on 9-11. Everyone can remember where they were that day and because it was a significant day. So if you change the focus, so say, for example, you're watching a news report and the news report is about some, you know, terrorist act in, in some other, you know, whatever other country, wherever it's happening at the moment, um, in Syria, perhaps, or this, you know, bombs and children and all that kind of stuff. Your focus is there. Immediately you begin, your self-talk is like, oh no, the world is terrible, life is terrible, what's going on? And you feel down, your, your physiology and your body changes. Yeah, you're starting to see how how this works. Well, say for example, you um, you have a self-talk which is like, oh, I'm such a klutz, I never achieve anything, I hate myself. Yeah, and that takes you to a focus which is predominant, um, predominantly negative. And as a result, maybe you, you walk slower or your posture is sort of stooped and hunched and everything like that. So this is the triad. This is how these three work together. So what happens when a person goes off um, their mental health medication? What happens? Well, immediately, this is something you've got to prepare for. If you're you know, in a place where you're determined to get off your medication and become clear, you know, a lot of people just want to keep their medication forever. That's their choice. But for those of you who are you know, obviously progressing through programs of therapy, you're doing really well and you want to start reducing this kind of medication, I'm just forewarning you in advance, this is what's going to happen. Immediately as you begin to reduce your medication, there, your body will physiologically have a reaction because it's like having a crutch that you had for so long and then that crutch is removed. Um, then what's going to happen is your self-talk is going to go a bit nuts because your physiology, that uh, neurochemical uh, crutch that you had for so long, for so many months and years, is suddenly reduced or gone. You're going to find that your self-talk goes a bit nuts. It's going to, it's going to start going into survival mode, you're going to start thinking really weird and abstract, perhaps really nasty thoughts. And it is really just a reaction to the physiological shift in your body. And and your focus is going to probably go to a dark, dark, negative place. Now, this is kind of like the dark night of the soul. It's, it's, it's a few days or a week, whatever it takes for you to get through that process of the, your body adjusting to being without the medication. So you may have done all your self-development, you may have done all your self-help, 
and you find it, you say to yourself, it's time to get rid of the medication. I don't need it anymore. I'm in a much stronger place. But you can understand that the, the medication has been like a, a neurochemical anchor in your body for so many months, maybe even years. And it's when it goes, it's going to really immediately set off uh, reactions in your VAKAD, what you see here, feel in your, in your self-talk, and your focus. So you've just got to really allow for that in your life. You've got to really just take it easy on yourself. Understand that your thoughts are going to go a bit nuts, that your focus is probably going to go to a really dark and horrible place. And that is really just a, you know, a 24-hour, 48-hour, maybe, you know, whatever, 72-hour thing. You've just got to ride out the storm, and then your body will adjust to being without the medication. Because if this is this is on the this is on the um, the preframe, I guess that you've been working on yourself, you've been overcoming your issues, you've been been doing all the good stuff to to, to improve your life, and then you're no longer needing the the neurochemical crutch from the medication. So that this that's contingent on that. If you are not doing that self help thing, just to stop mi minimizing the medication is not going to help you at all. It's going to it's going to make things worse. So you really need to be working on yourself when you... But this, uh, this the purpose of this video is to, to tell you what's going to happen when you reduce. So you may reduce it to half a dose. And if you reduce it to a quarter dose, an eighth of a dose, this is still going to happen. There's still going to be these few days of this really, you know, horrible self-talk, horrible feelings, maybe a horrible focus. Really, you might your mind might go to really dark, nasty places. And that is because... That is because of the, the body chemically, you know, neurochemically shifting without the presence of the neurochemical crutch of the mental health medication. Yeah. But once that is done, done, you know, after you've gone through that 72 hour, you know, period, these two are going to settle down because, and your body's going to adjust and it's going to kind of go back to normal and you're going to be feeling great again. So it's just like, the reason is because I don't want, I want people to be aware that when you start reducing medication, there's going to be a shift in these two. And it's not that there's something wrong with you. It's just that the system, your internal systems, are rebalancing themselves. Yeah. So that's because what what happens is people re reduce their dose, reduce their dose, reduce their dose. They go to a really dark place and they go, oh, no, no, I can't handle it. So they have to up their dose again or even up it even more because of these two things, are the consequence of these two things. So allow yourself a holiday. Allow yourself a time to be kind to yourself, to love yourself when you're reducing these two things, when you're reducing this, your, your, um, your chemical crutch through your medication. Allow yourself time to detox before... You judge the results, okay? And you know that this may be time when you argue with your spouse a bit more. You you, you know you're on edge a bit at work or whatever it is. It just may just allow yourself know what's going to happen. And because if you know what's going to happen, you can prepare for it. You can be kind to yourself. You can love yourself. You can warn people and um, in your life that you love, you work with, and and then know that you're eventually going to detox from that. and You're going to be fine. So if you like this video, click like and subscribe. I thought this was a theme was coming up in my in my work. And um, I wanted to share it with you. Have an awesome day.